are, we are in the Lover's Lounge, which is our little secret lair attached to the, our pop-up shop in New York. Um, guys, I just wanted to say, first of all, thank you to everyone who's here. You were each selected from different corners of the internet, and you've kept this very secret so far, which is really wonderful. Thank you to everyone who's watching um, from all around the world. That's incredible. I really appreciate it. Um, this is so exciting for me because it's so rare to get to experience the evening of an album release with you guys because that's what that's my dream. That's how I want to spend it live. The release of a brand new music video and the release of an album. We have so much to talk about. There's so much. There's a lot of information to share. There's, um, you know, I mean, obviously the album Lover will be released tonight at midnight. It's just still a lot of emotions about that. Um, but between now and then, I'm gonna be releasing the Lover music video later and telling you all kinds of stuff about it, giving you a lot of behind the scenes information about it. Um, the album Lover, is something that I'm so proud of because it really feels like such a special album because it's a natural continuation of, of you know, a story of my life and the way my, the events in my life have unfolded. My last album, Reputation, I really looked at that album as sort of like, I always do like, um, like visuals and aesthetics in my mind of what an album represents. Uh, Reputation for me was like cityscape, nighttime, darkness, ah, like, <laughs> like full swamp witch, like just, you know. Um, but with this album, this album to me felt aesthetically and from like an energetic perspective, like very daytime, very sunlit fields. And I mean, we've got clusters of pink balloons. I'm sitting on like, like Dr. Seuss fuzzy, like it's great. I really just pictured this and wrote music from a perspective of like a much more open, um, just free, romantic, whimsical place. And I'm so happy to share that with you soon. Um, there are 18 songs on this album. That's more than I've ever put on an album. Um, the album, the album packaging is more exciting, I think, this time than anything we've done before. I really think that um, in the 13th year, I don't know if you guys know this, I have a thing with 13s, does anyone? It's a very little known fact about me. No one knows it, I'm not obnoxious about it at all. Um, but in the 13th year of my career, I really wanted to do something exciting and retrospective and nostalgic. Uh, and what more nostalgia could you possibly hope for than digging up your old journals? And, <laughs> and uh, so we have, we have a lot of that to talk about. Um, I wanna get into that, but first of all, I just wanna say thank you to YouTube. This is so cool that you are doing this for us. Thank you so much. Like, getting to, getting to do this, I, I did um, some Q&A stuff with YouTube um, leading up to the release of the Me music video, and I had so much fun doing that. Um, and when they came to me with this idea, it just felt like such a cool way to get to spend the album release Eve together. So I'm so grateful. I can't thank you guys enough. Everyone at YouTube and everyone who designed this set did this for us. And you guys for traveling from all over the country, all over the world, and you guys watching. This is really, I'm very, I'm very excited. Thank you very much. Um, so I wanted to show you guys some things um, because we have a lot to talk about. So I'll just like, get right into it. We have some like Q&A stuff later, we have a live performance later, we have a special guest later. There's so much. So I wanted to um, tell you a bit about the deluxe edition of this album. I went through my old diaries, which was a wild trip down memory lane, <laughs> let me just tell you. Um, and I found you know, so many diary entries that I thought may be relevant to your interests. <laughs> um, and I started writing in diaries when I was 13. So these are the, well, I picked it up with one hand. Um, <laughs> these are the four deluxe editions of this album and each one contains um, 30 pages of my diary entries from 
my life. Um, because, you know, metaphorically, I've been sharing my diaries with you for years, so I figured why not just do it uh, for real and just take the symbolism out of it, not make it a metaphor anymore, just do it. I was thinking maybe I would read you some of them. <laughs> One second, let me just... Okay, so they're from all different ages in my life. We'll start, we'll start with... Um, August 25th, 2003, 13 years of age. Like this, so um, this one says, <clears throat> I think I might just live through this year. Two exclamation points. I just hope I can keep up. My locker is 117 and my combination is 35, 9, 27. I love being older. I think my teacher is gonna give me a spotlight solo in chorus. This year could be fun. I don't care what people think of me now because I won't let them bring me down. Ugh. 13. So innocent. Um, so um, this is the next one. This is age 19, March 17, 2009. I somehow feel like it's my destiny to roll my eyes at happy couples and resent Valentine's Day. I also feel like I'm the girl before the one. I'm not the one. I'm the girl you think is the one for you. And when it doesn't work out with me, you meet the next girl and realize she is the one, the one you're gonna stay with. I might get married, but I think it's ultimately my fate to light candles and pine away and roll my eyes at happy couples and resent Valentine's Day. So, there we are, that's not embarrassing <laughs> at all. Um, the next one is, just the 13 year old ones are pretty golden, pretty easy to share. October 5th, 2003, why I'm missing Pennsylvania. 13 years of age. Hey, I really have decided that school is a big disappointment. It's only cool when you're popular, I'm not. It's cool when you have a boyfriend. It's cool when everybody likes you. I don't have that. But my extracurricular life is what really matters to me. I guess I'm just not good enough for people my own age. Or maybe I'm not bad enough. Peace sign. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. So uh, this one is... A this one's just a really important moment in my life. October 30th, 2011, age 21. Tonight we played in Memphis. I've had a chest infection for the last few days, so singing has been so hard. Last night my voice kept quitting on me, going all raspy or just not being able to reach the high notes. I almost canceled tonight's show, but I made it through. I went into a few coughing fits tonight, but I sounded better than last night. We've already played three shows in Nashville, Knoxville, Louisville, Lexington. We only have nine shows left on this tour, and I'm ready for a break. I've written two songs in the last few days. I want to record them so bad, but my voice is shot from being so run down. I'm just so glad I have a few days off. Okay, two. Guess what I'm doing tomorrow? Getting a kitten. Yeah! I've wanted a cat for so long, and I'm finally doing it. I love Scottish folds. I look up internet videos of them. They're so cute and they love humans. So I'm gonna get this little kitten tomorrow morning. I'm naming her Meredith. Oh. Meredith Gray, because she's gray. Oh. It's my daughter. Oh. Um, so yeah, that was, uh, that, those are just some, I wanted to save some of the ones that I really think that you should read yourself for when you read them yourself. But um, I thought it might be cool to open up some questions to, that fans have asked. We asked people on YouTube to ask questions, send in questions. Um, so the first question is from Snoop. Thank you, Snoop, for asking a question. What do, I like, what do you like drawing the most is the question. Let me tell you. Stars. Stars. <laughs> Hearts. Cats. Um, that's, pr that's, that's my repertoire, pretty much. Um, flowers sometimes, um, but there's a lot of doodles in these that I really, really think must be seen for many reasons. 
but um, I'll, I'll leave you to decide which of my drawings that are very basic um, are your favorite. Um, so question number two is which song is closest to your heart? Um, this is kind of an album where every song on it is really, really, really close to my heart. Um, there's so many that you haven't heard yet that I'm so excited for you to hear. Um, there's one called Cornelia Street that I love um, that's just like, ugh, just like, there's so many things on this album that I want you to hear and it's really hard to pick a favorite, but just, you know, they're all, they're all close to my heart. It's called Lover. It's like a, a heart-shaped album. Um, if Lover, ooh, this is an amazing question. <laughs> If Lover, the album, was a Cats character, which one would it be from Kurt? Whoa. Okay, so I, ha I can't really do this without a process of like, okay, the first album would be Victoria, the little white cat. The second album, Fearless, would probably be Jemima. Uh, Speak Now would be Gus the Theater Cat, because that was a really theater-inspired album. Red would be Bombal Arena. Um, 1989 would be the magical Mr. Mistopheles. He has a lot of powers, but he doesn't know how to control them. Um, uh, reputation would be Grizabella. Um, and this one would be Monku Strap. Thank you for these questions. I really, I enjoyed that, that question more than anyone else. So we can move on to the next one. What advice would you give to an inspiring singer, an aspiring sing, singer songwriter? Wow. Yeah, so, mm. <laughs> It's a live show. What advice would you give to an aspiring singer-songwriter from Kira? Um, I would say um, try your best to own your own work. Um, it's something that nobody told me about early on. Um, and also, if, if at all possible, start writing your own songs. Um, be involved in the creative process, because when you are a writer of your own songs, you you own those songs, you control, like, you know, for the rest of your life, if like a movie wants to use your song, if you're the writer, you're the one who can say yes or no to that. Um, so being a writer gives you more of a control of your own legacy. It's also really fun to write songs, and I, I really suggest it to anyone who wants to be a singer. Try your hand at writing. Just sit down at an instrument, see if you take to it, um, and if not, just keep trying, because. I really just want you guys to be able to tell your own stories. I've, I've found it really helps me. It's like one of the most cathartic, healing, therapeutic things I've ever done. So I just wish that for all of you. And one of the reasons I wanted to do the journals as a part of this album release is I want, you know, if you wanted to write in those journals and, and write your feelings and thoughts down, it was something that was really helpful for me. So, you know, I just... Just thought I'd say that. Um, what song was the hardest to write? Elizabeth S. asked. Um, the song, there's a song called Soon You'll Get Better on this album that was really, really hard to write. And it was also just like a family decision whether to even put it on the album. Um, and I think songs like that that are really hard for you to write emotionally, maybe they're really hard to write and hard to sing because they're really true. Um, so we as a family decided to, you know, put this on the album and, um, it's some, something I'm so proud of and, but it's just like really hard. I'd still, I can't sing it. It's hard to just emotionally deal with that song. You'll, you'll understand what I mean in like a couple hours. Um, but question, uh, how do you decide album titles? Kimberly O asked, thank you for asking this. Um, so I decide an album title based on something that I feel like has a nice ring to it and has a theme. I basically like to like plan an album like I'm planning some type of prom or something. <laughs> I like to think of like how the shows are gonna look and how the, how the album imagery is gonna look and the colors involved with it. Like it's very mood board how I go about, you know, I write the music and then I really try to think of like, what's the title that would best describe this? The only time I've ever started with a title um, was Reputation. I st that was the first thing I knew that the, uh, the album was gonna be called Reputation, so I wrote the songs around the title. But with this album, I actually thought that the title of this album was gonna be Daylight for a few months. But then I wrote Lover, and I was like, that's the title. Because the, the album sort of started to um, s organize itself in a way that made sense that that song would be the flagship song of, 
of this album. It's a really romantic album, but it's also an album that celebrates love in all of its complexity, not just, you know, flowers and sunshine. It's really an exploration of like the kind of um, patchwork quilt of emotions that go into any any sort of love that you feel. Um, guys, something very exciting is about to happen. We have a special guest with us. So I am so lucky that this person is here. We're all so lucky that she's here because she's one of the most inspiring people in the world, you know, using her powers for good, setting such an amazing example environmentally. She's honestly one of my favorite humans in the world and one of my favorite designers. I'm so happy she's here. This is so incredible. The designer of the Stella X Taylor Swift line of clothing that we have coming out this week, Stella McCartney's here. Make some noise. Hey, hi guys. I was like, nobody's gonna know who I am. That's such a good build up. You all act like you do know who I am, so thank they you for do. having me. They definitely do. <laughs> thank you so much for being here with us in New York. I'm thrilled to be here. Well, so you've designed an amazing line that is so many things I want to talk about, but I kind of want to, we had, we had some music start Let's to do play that again, again. But, you know, I was wanting to ask you what your, uh, what, what inspired you to make this line and just, I want to hear from you. Well, you. <laughs> no, you know, you came over, you played some of the album to me. Um, I got a little sneak preview. I was told that if I told anyone about it, I would be killed. <laughs> so I kept it to I myself. I didn't say it. Time. I just implied it, just it with a look. my face. It was like this look. Um, <laughs> no, she's, she's name checked in a song called London Boy. And so I wanted to play her the whole song before, you know, the album came out and just let her know and see if you were okay with it. And, um, Turns out you were really guys? okay with oh it. Oh my god! She was like, "Let's do something. This is so inspiring yeah. and exciting." And she was like, "I've always wanted to do like a merch line for a band or for an artist." Well, you know, so obviously I was inspired by you and the songs and the the title "Lover" is couldn't be more inspiring. You know, at the end of the day, that's why we're all here because our parents had some lover experience, um, <laughs> and you came. You had such a specific. <laughs> You had such a specific... <laughs> okay, stop now. Get it out of your head. It's not something you want to visualize. Um, you had such a specific kind of mood board, you know, and it really reminded me of being a kid on the road with, um, with my family, who also share a similar industry to yours. Um, this sort of su this summer of love and um, all these colors and all this airbrushing and stuff, and also the... So the, the song titles as well were really inspiring, I found. So we did this kind of whole merchy type of, you know, toury kind of visual. But with your standards in place, like Stella's very eco-friendly. And I was just wondering if you could tell us a little bit about that and, and how, that, how important that is to you. Yeah, I mean, the first thing that I said when, um, when I was excited to do it was like, can I do it in the same way that kind of matches my ethics? So I was really, really... Um, kind of adamant that we had to have an environmental point of view. So I am so proud that we managed to do it. So this is stuff that all of you guys can get and have access to, which I'm so happy about. But at the same time, it's all, all the jerseys are organic cotton and it's really super eco. So the message is not only kind of one of love, but it's also one of being a real conscious consumer, you know, which I really think is important to us and hopefully to all of you guys. Thank you so much for that. Thank you for everything that you do. Ugh. Ugh. We were, we were wondering if you guys wanted to go, if you wanted like us to show you the line, would you, would you want that? Okay, so we're gonna, take, we're gonna take the cameras on a tour of the pop-up shop. We're gonna show it to you guys later afterward. Don't even think we're not gonna do that. But we're gonna go on a little adventure and uh, we'll be right back. We've been working for the last couple of months on everything and this is the first chance we got to kind of show you and get your feedback. How do you feel about sequins if we want to do anything? I How think, do I feel about sequins? Well, you sequins? obviously like <laughs> What a wild thing That's to like ask. the most stupid question. When it came time for me to write this album, I name-checked you in one of the lyrics. I mean, the thought of that. It's so <laughs> sick. I'm so excited. It's so amazing. Ugh. And the themes is really pulling out the lyrics and isolating them and kind of giving them some kind of weight, if you like. So yeah. it's nice that we thought to do that and, that and you not just want, the obvious you know, ones like the, the yeah. third line of the second verse no, yeah like, yeah yeah because they 
have meaning beyond the moment those For lyrics sure. like that will live on beyond this collaboration and this launch like that is what will stay with people yeah what I really want at the end of this collaboration is for people to keep it forever yeah. and like really cherish and I feel agree. it you know to feel what we've done I think Completely. that's really important yeah <laughs> <laughs> so here we are in the Stella X Taylor Swift pop-up shop in New York City you're holding, I think, what is your favorite? I'm stealing, essentially. I'm holding it, but with an intent to stealing it. Um, my favorite part of our collaboration, the Stella Love Taylor Swift water bottle, because for me, water bottles are like, I think, the coolest accessory to have. We're gonna try and get a little less plastic on our planet, and this guy is with you forever. Yeah, it's a good water bottle. This was the first thing she really like, good. You gotta do water bottles. I was like, yeah. Absolutely. Anyway, I'm taking that for you can one have, of my many children. You can have that uh, for your many children. So here we have like, we have these shirts. Tell us a little bit about like your inspiration behind these because I love where you were coming yeah. from. Well, these, you know, it's funny. I'm a kind of summer of love child and I wanted to really reference like two t-shirts, obviously because you're a rock chick and I wanted to show everything about the album that I loved and love but also you know all of your coloration all of the inspiration and mood boards that you brought to me was it was so clear it was kind of a no-brainer and so these airbrush pieces remind me a little bit of my childhood actually it's really cool it's like it's got a lot of whimsy to it one of my favorite things that you do with your clothes is like it's romantic it's playful it's whimsical it's cheeky um, and you know what's amazing about these these are probably the first sort of merch pieces, I don't know if that you've ever done, something that I've ever been able to do that are completely organic, cotton and jerseys, which I am so proud of. It's amazing. I love, I love that you stand for that. And I love that, you know, even when you're making bags and shoes, it's all vegan and just everything you do is so above board and yeah. like setting such a good example. And you can't tell the difference. We have not scrimped on this collaboration. There's so much beautiful embroidery and we've got just, this, like this whole section over here with this bomber jacket that I love, I also selfishly just love like my well, young we had son. To definitely put this little boy, my newest, on a hoodie. He's just look at him. And I think one of the things we also really wanted to do when we met and talked about it was to just make it kind of really genderless, you know? Like for me, yeah. that's boys, girls, you know, men, women, everyone should be able to have a part of the collection and, and wear it every day. Yeah. And we've got in the pop up shop, we wanted to make it fun for people to walk through and see different things. So that's an outfit from the Lover music video that has not come out yet. Yeah. Behind us here is an outfit that I wore on a show called Wango Tango and I wore your shoes as kind of like an Easter egg to the fans to let them know maybe there might be something coming. And you told me the shoes inspired the outfit, which made me The shoes incredibly we, we proud. Made, we custom made the outfit based on the shoe. There you go. This so. should happen every day, I think. They always say start at the shoe and work your way up. It's a good lesson. Moral of the story. The great thing about the bomber as well, it's um, this is 100% this is 100% sustainable rayon, so that's really unheard of. Rayon is from trees, guys. They cut down trees, and this is friendly forest, so that's I'm really proud of that, too. That's amazing. We've got, like, over here, I think, I think I'm in love with this one. Well, we kind of pixelated you, but made you back up with hearts, it's, because yeah, it's, it's all about love, hearts, I love it. It's, it's nice. so cool. I think the colors are so sort of gentle and... They just make you feel good. The coloration of the, the palette of the collection is just, it's definitely a feel Ooh, good I'm gonna collection. come back right, because this is like also one that I really like. I love the like marble tie dye. Yeah, and then we did, because you don't, you didn't, you know, we don't know if you're doing a tour or not yet. I wanted to make it look like a real kind of tour tee. So these are all of your, the titles of the songs. It's clever. Yeah, there She's you go. She's a clever See lady. what I did there. So uh, we're gonna go back and rejoin everyone. Um, and Stella, and she's just going to take that. <laughs> she's allowed to. But I might take some more. Thank you so much for coming and doing this and for doing this Happy for us me. because have, making, you know, almost every single thing in this line is under $100. That's yeah. so exciting I'm for us. And just thank you for everything you do and the example that you set and being the thank most wonderful goddess, Thank you for having me, babe. Goddess, I'm so happy babe. to be part of it. I love it. I've loved every minute. It's been a happy, happy moment. <laughs> thank you so much.
So we just wrapped the album cover shoot and Valeria just killed it. The whole team killed it. Everyone has done such a great job. And yeah, we're just gonna go pick photos, look through them, try to come up with an album cover pretty soon. And yep. Give it up for my incredible band. They're so amazing. Guys, it's about to be time to play the brand new Lover music video. I gotta tell you some stuff about it really quick because it's almost five o'clock. It's almost about to happen. In order to see the video, you gotta go to a different page. YouTube will direct you. It'll be the, the, the one that looks like it's the Lover music video. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Um, this is a video that I co-directed with Drew Kirsch, who is a young genius who I did the Calm Down video with. He's absolutely incredible. We worked together again. Um, the leading man in this video is someone who I have performed on stage with for years. His name is Christian Owens. 
He was the leading man in the King of My Heart performance every night on the Reputation Tour. He's amazing. Every single night I could see how expressive he is and how just heroic and, and what an amazing actor he is as well as being an incredible dancer. I also want to tell you guys, he's an amazing musician. He's going to be putting out music soon. Every record label is going to be fighting over him. So you want to go and follow him on Instagram. He's Owens C 18 He's your new best friend, your new favorite artist. Um, follow him, support him, love him. He's one of the most talented people I've ever met. Um, okay, so this video, in the Calm Down video, Drew Kirsch, the director, is incredible with color blocking and making a video that's so aesthetically pleasing from a color standpoint, but you can't figure out why. But his brain works in magical ways. That was a very vibrant color blocked video. With this one, we wanted to go a little bit more muted in the tones. This entire video concept came from a lyric that I wrote on the 1989 album in a song called You Are In Love. So this is a song that I wrote about two of my best friends who were in love and I saw their relationship and I thought like, oh, wow, that's beautiful. Like what you, what you guys have is beautiful. And there's a line that I was really proud of in the song that says, and so it goes, you two are dancing in a snow globe round and round. So that line inspired the entire music video concept for this video, so I really hope that you love it. It's a concept that I'm so proud of. I love my collaborators on this, and I'm so, so happy that this video is coming out literally like so soon, like in a matter of seconds. I, I have to thank YouTube again. Thank you for having us. Thank you for putting this on for us, getting to celebrate this album release with with my fans here and on YouTube is so exciting. I can't wait for everyone to hear the album. Thank you guys for being here, for traveling to be here. And just watch the video, click the link below. You guys are amazing. Thank you for everything that you do. Thank you for watching this, even if you're just curious and you're like, I wonder what this will be like. Thank you for doing that. Um, hope you guys have a really great evening. And uh, that's it, that's our show. Thank you so much, guys.